All right, it's hard to believe you're looking at the same person here on your screen, but that's Eric Morph. On one side, he's 315 pounds. On the other side, he is, he corrected me, 110 pounds lighter. I'm now joined by Eric and his weight loss coach, Charles D'Angelo. Eric, absolutely. <laughs> he's an awesome. Eric, Remarkable. And your mother inspired you to start this incredible weight loss. What did she say to you? That's right. Well, she came to me as only a mother can, and she was going through a bout with cancer herself. And she came to me and said, I'm really worried about you. What can I do to help you? And I had heard about Charles and his program, and I said, Would you help me get in touch with Charles and work through that program with him? And here I am. Wow. Had you tried before different things? I had tried some other things before, but with no success and no, no sustainable success for sure. And uh, now I have it. Wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. You have a four year old son. You say you've lost three of them. <laughs> I've lost three. Which is an amazing way injuries, to think that's of it. Right. But your midday meal is also your most important, which is your lunch. So right. tell me about lunch. What do you eat? Well, it was, it was always hard for me because I'm an engineer, so I work in an office. Um, so I'm very sedentary. And making lunch, one of my big excuses previously was I don't have time. Well, Everybody has time, and Charles taught me how to do that. Mm -hmm. You can make it simple, bring stuff with you, as long as you're prepared. What That's is this? Thing. Tell me what you do. We use these flat out. Yeah, flat out um, whole wheat tortillas, which are low glycemic. So, one thing that Eric wanted to do was make sure he wasn't getting himself in that cycle of spiking his blood sugar. Right. Uh, people that are looking for something quick and easy and that are very affordable, they're only 90 calories, they're whole grain, and what's really cool is they're filling. Uh, Eric has this every day at lunchtime. Yep. It's something that with his schedule at work, he's able to bring along. He doesn't have to worry about going out and leaving the office. He has things that keep him feeling full all day long, about every three hours, because he has the right mindset about How it. How do you fold it? You can stuff this up, and well, anybody does it in their own different way. I like to get it as, as tight as tight I can, can, yep, and then fold up the ends and just eat it like a burrito. Mm -hmm. But it's it looks like a full pound burrito, like that you would get at Hardee's or somewhere exactly. else, but it's healthy. That is and amazing. It fills you up. What other things can people put in this that would be healthy if they don't like turkey or whatever? My girlfriend, Monica, what she does is she puts this thing on the George Foreman grill, and then that she puts great. the meat and everything in it, puts the, the Foreman grill down on it, grills it, and makes it like a panini. So there's all sorts of ways to make healthy eating and exercise something that's enjoyable. It's not something that you have to feel deprived by. And the whole message for the viewer is, is that no matter if you're 320 pounds, 400 pounds, or you just have 20 or 30 pounds to lose, if you're willing to change your mindset, which Eric really felt was the missing component in everything else out there that he tried, was he couldn't get himself to remain consistent with a plan. And if you could get yourself to do that and really step up and take responsibility, there's no stopping you. Look at you. I know. That's yes. amazing. Congratulations, Eric. Thank You're going to be signing books next Wednesday. I'll be Wednesday. at Barnes & Noble, West County. Okay. Everybody come on out. 5 p.m. next week. 5 p.m. next Wednesday. Come out. The books will be there, but more importantly, if you have your own questions, I'm going to have a discussion group beforehand. Maybe Eric will come along mm -hmm. <laughs> and some other uh, clients have lost over 100 pounds. And feel free to bring any questions you have, anything you're looking to really find out about how you can reach your goals, too. And just make sure that lunch is a, a regular occurrence every day. So many people starve themselves. Thank you so much, Eric and Thanks. Charles.